This is a HeadGum Original. Are you going to talk about the Sweeney? I, we can get it back into it, but it feels like Miles has something specific. That I'd he like wants to, to unbox done. the 2023 Listener's Choice Winner Award. <laughs> winner Award? <laughs> <laughs> Every award is a winner award. This is the 2023 Listener's Choice. It comes with care instructions okay. to clean you soft and dry cloth only. <laughs> <laughs> yes, this will melt in a washer dryer situation. And it does also come with some silica gel. <laughs> this is so what part the of it American stays fresh? Psycho. <laughs> <laughs> and of course, the Signal Award for 2023 Listener's Choice winner <laughs> of advice and how-to for perfect person. Thank you for the vote. <laughs> and of course, we would be remiss... <laughs> We would be remiss if not to also give a shout out to the 2023 silver winner. You won, you won first. You won first and second place. Yeah, I won first in silver. <laughs> I won listeners and I won silver, but I did not win the gold. And next year, guys, we'll, oh, we'll get them. So how many awards are there per category? There's listener, there's gold, there's silver. I believe there's silver, bronze, gold, teal, and listener. listener. Teal? <laughs> oh, teal. I'm smudging it. Quick, Did you get, get the microfiber. Oh, yeah. get the silicon gel. It's getting too moist. <laughs> I did get a microfiber with this one as well, I believe. Yes, okay, here it is. I was going to ask. Here it is, so I make sure that I can keep it nice and clean. I wasn't sure if it was just a gold thing or... This is yeah. heavy as fuck. It is heavy. Well, I want to thank HeadGum, the HeadGum podcast, and everyone here except Jeff for really helping me secure the W. Thanks, guys, for real. I've been on two episodes. I contributed to like 180th of that I think award. you've been on three. And the fact that you don't remember that means you've been on one. I mean, you've what? Been on one. I'm deleting the old episode. <laughs> no way, because then you're going to lose the ad revenue from that. Doesn't matter. Going forward, you won't get the impressions. But I'll have my hope. I have stuff to get to. D yeah. Do you want to just put your award somewhere that's displayed so that we can it's really nice. refer back to them if necessary slash ad nauseum? I, I would like that. Oh, wait. <laughs> I wonder if they... Gold one is any different than the listener one, which is also gold. What are just what are you? What is it? You're worried it's broken? I think it is. Broken. No, the headphones are wearable. You didn't you know that? Is that true? No way. There's no way. There's no yeah, way. But they gloves. are loose. No, they're, that's not true. I just wanted to see if you'd try and yank it. <laughs> <laughs> you want to mean it? Let's just put those right there. Yeah. The hard We started way. the show, by the way. We did the little cold open, and you know, I was hoping that the cold open would be, oh, the awards. That's funny. He's opening them on the show. Cold open over, let's get into the actual show. But you kept driving the point past home that you won these awards that basically are pay to play, by the way. They're not pay to play. Maybe the, maybe the silver was, but... It was uh, a fortune to be nominated, but you did finish second, naturally. Well, a, a listener. And the listener. I got second and listener. <laughs> Yeah. Did you submit or did the head, the headgum submit? For headgum you? submitted for me, which is yeah. really nice. Why does headgum not do that for the headgum podcast? I not once have we submitted the show for an award. I think it's too expensive. <laughs> it's like forty dollars, a little more. I think it's expensive. Yeah, I think it's like but Amir filled the bill personally. Maybe we did, and it didn't go anywhere. That's also possible. Yeah, <laughs> you can only bribe people so far. Yeah, what well, category? Say, pay would, to play. Would it go into? The category would be pay to play. Oh. <laughs> it's a bribery only category. We got the gold in the pay to play category. So whoever gives the most cash <laughs> yeah. wins the most glass. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Very nice. Yeah. yeah. We were, Segments was in a bidding war with us. Interesting. And you guys just did that because you know that you would drive the price up and I would end up spending $1,400 for the gold. What's some biggest amount of money you've ever spent on a little silly joke that you've lost? Uh, It's a really good, oh, I. <laughs> I spent $400 on edible arrangements for Hayes and Sean from Hollywood Handbook when oh they God. guessed it on this episode. Because oh I was God. like, oh, this is perfect. They'll be like, you sent us this fruit basket before. Why did you do that? We, there'd be like a whole bit on the show. They didn't bring it up at all. Yeah. What? They you just also gave one a really fruit. big one and one the smallest one possible. Exactly. So I gave, I think, Hayes like the like Executive. magnum 10,000 <laughs> sticks of fruit. Oh and I gave God. Sean like 
five sticks of cantaloupe. <laughs> Not even. I think it was maybe honeydew. <laughs> oh. I couldn't even afford the other melons. <laughs> yeah, Jesus. And they didn't discuss amongst themselves, so they didn't know the size. Of exactly. The yeah, that was the, that was the other part of the bit. Was it supposed to be like, you got an edible arrangement too? Like, my, did, how big was yours? And it's like, you know, why did I get a tiny one? Why did Hayes get the huge one? That didn't come up. No, not once. Not <laughs> ever. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway. Wow. <laughs> We're putting this segment on hold. We have to. We have to. It's too and much. you want to know why? Because Barbara Broccoli, producer of the Bond movies. Sorry, are we <laughs> are we boring you? No, I was just pulling up my segment. Your segment? Yeah, well, every time I come on the show, I just uh, I like to prepare a little segment. Yeah. I think. It's always at my expense. Yeah. <laughs> Not always. I mean, oh. this one could be different. Bye bye wisdom teeth, August 30th, 2013. Jeffrey James. Two comments, eight likes. Just know that he can play it. I was just going to say we're shelving Bond of the Week for the time being because Barbara Broccoli, the producer, says nothing is happening with <laughs> regards to the new Bond. Certainly but that was from like my it. Facebook page? Yeah, this is on your public Facebook page, which I encourage everyone to check out because there's a lot of stuff I saw and witnessed <laughs> that I don't feel comfortable sharing. Meaning? <laughs> because it was about people that are not like you. Meaning? Well, it's like seeing other people, sort of women, flirt with you from high school I don't feel comfortable, like, when they comment, like, hey, cutie, like, I don't feel comfortable saying that on the show. But you feel comfortable viewing it on the internet. Oh, I viewed it already. Ten years ago. Oh, here's the Grand Budapest Hotel trailer. <laughs> so, period, excited. <laughs> oh, that's really nice. Yeah, I went to film, <laughs> I was really into film in high school. 2013. Did you like Wes Anderson? I loved Wes Anderson. Yeah. I still like Wes Anderson. He's good. Yeah. I actually did have a question, though. Okay. 2014, November 28th. My birthday. Really? Uh huh. <laughs> that provides some context. Did <laughs> okay. you say, Happy birthday, Karen Gillen? Because we share the birthday. And so it was kind of a little <laughs> coy little thing of like, oh, my friends know it's my birthday, but I'm wishing someone else a birthday. And uh, was I was. She... What's that? Did she know Sorry. you? No. Was she famous at that point? Yeah, she was in Doctor Who. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so she I was, loved Doctor Who. She's booked. She was booked. She was busy. She was blessed. Yeah. She was booked, blessed, and thriving. Under under 30 and thriving. Yeah. Yeah. And flirty. And now she's married to Nick Kocher. I know. Have you so, met her before? I haven't, but I feel like my friend Corey sees her all the time because he's buddies with Nick. Yeah. And uh, I feel like I'm... Only two degrees separate from um, Gillen. Would you bring that up? What's that? Would you bring it up? That on November 28th, 2014, I wished her a happy birthday on my Facebook. <laughs> no. She'd like to know. Would you say, oh, we have the same birthday? That I would say. Yeah. Not this shit. You I said, I would say, I wish you a happy birthday. You didn't get it. Okay. You don't think that's a little weird that you knew her birthday? I think everyone knows. Everyone tends to know, like, what celebrities share a birthday with me, right? But my you... sister shares it with Justin Bieber. That's cool. Yeah. By the way, this comes out on my sister's birthday. Happy birthday, Sarah. Wow. Happy what date birthday, is that? Sarah. That's Happy what March time 1st? is that? March 1st. Yeah. As in, let's march first towards the Capitol. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Was she born on a leap year? Was it like almost the 29th of February? If her birthday is March 1st. But like, is yeah. it uh, what year? Was she oh, born? okay. <laughs> you, I, you didn't what, answer. I mean, can we get a numbers crunch on that? Miles? Is she turning in 1994? Uh, was that a leap? Looking year? for cheap quality housing in the U.S. area this summer? Look no further than the glimmering palace that is the Sigma New House. So I was in a fraternity for a semester. I didn't know you were in a fraternity. Yeah, I feel like that's I not a big to, part of your um, brand identity. Of course, it's not. I was there for a semester and a half. But you were urging people to join or to live there. I had to advertise the housing thing as part of the pledging process. Did you make it? Were you a brother? Yeah, and then immediately I was like, "This isn't fun anymore." And that was this the the, the it was the, that semester, the second semester, where I was a full brother was the year that full Trump brother. got elected, mm -hmm. <laughs> and people in the house were celebrating. So I was like, "Ah." Eh. Not for you. Oh, yeah, Trump was elected enough. and people were like, let's do a kegger. And you said, Not I like, actually do theater. 
Yeah, that's exactly <laughs> right. Oh, I do improv. That's my brotherhood. Is there a frat that voted with her? <laughs> Yeah, it gotta be the beta house. Yeah. The beta cuck house. Yeah. Yeah. Oh um, government shutdown. Let's talk about it. Um, is it imminent? Would you guys be surprised or would you kind of be glad to have <laughs> a shutdown by uh, the government? Yeah. Would you, like, what if the post office stopped for a month? I don't send a lot of post. Yeah. But I think I'd probably receive things. Would it affect Amazon? I think Amazon is safe because that's private. So oh. to have that, would let's be. shut this fucker down. <laughs> <laughs> let's get s- public services gone for a while. Yeah. Um, are we not surprised that Headgum hasn't had a shutdown? Um, I'm not surprised that you've we never haven't. thought about walking out, Allie? No, no. Okay. There's yeah, I haven't. There's been no talk of unionizing. Yeah, I feel like Marika would have a different answer because we kind of threw a comedy festival that she was like forced into planning basically her, by herself on the day of her birthday three Whoa. years ago. Okay. I so don't know I if like that's whoa. true, but <laughs> I don't know what that has to do with the walkout. Wow, me here. I would have walked out if Are I was you okay? her. I think I was until I, I heard that. I think I was the only one who acknowledged it was her birthday because I brought her cookies. Yeah. And then she forgot that it was me. She was like, oh, somebody brought cookies. I was like, that was me. I feel like we were all having a lot of fun before we walked in the studio. It sounded fun. Because we were talking about, like, your haircut versus Amir's haircut. Yeah. 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 We were just sour, kind of connecting. Energy. We were talking about prebiotic sodas. We were. And Olipops. Olipop. I was going to say Olipop. Yeah, the fact that marshmallows grow on trees like money. Yeah, we're having, like, a lot of fun, like, whimsical conversations. I don't mind that. <laughs> you clearly do. Facebook anymore? Or do you want to sprinkle this in throughout the episode? Just, like, quotes here and there. Uh, yeah, I'd rather sprinkle. Got it. To be honest. All right. <laughs> Oh. You guys hear about this? What is that? What? You guys hear about this? Oh. I Lauren can... Bobert used to have a gun themed restaurant in Rifle, Colorado called Shooter's Grill. Is she the one who got um in the f- fingered in the Beetlejuice? Yeah. What? <laughs> she was groped <laughs> at a musical. Oh. She was, and well, I hate to say it, but she was. She was groping too, right? Consensual? She Consensual. Was, Consensual. Yeah. So not groped. Finger. She was Josh Gropen. I don't know. It, there was some, <laughs> it was, she got a little handsy during a matinee. And okay. she was hands on. I don't mind that for her, though. That's not my issue with her. Okay. Do you mind that it, the play was Beetlejuice? <laughs> to me, Beetlejuice is a romp and a fun festival. So being. Sorry. Hmm? Yeah. Beetlejuice is. A, the Beetlejuice, the musical or play, is musical. a festival? Yeah, a musical. It's a fun festival. Okay. It's like a good time. Yeah. 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 I've seen it. Okay, okay you guys. Best Broadway musical to hook up to. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Some, <laughs> something rotten. <laughs> right as Gavroche gets killed. <laughs> Hamlet. <laughs> as soon as Hamlet exits. <laughs> you think they do Hamlet on Broadway? <laughs> Fucking idiot. They don't even do they did Spamlet. Fat Ham. <laughs> What's that? It's uh, it's a version of Hamlet with um, overweight Marcel Spears. Mm. Yeah, Lauren Lauren B- Bobert used to have a gun themed restaurant in Colorado in Rifle, Colorado, called Shooter's Grill. The restaurant was scantily decorated beyond two muskets on the wall and a few string lights. Okay. It seems like the theme was supposed to come alive mostly <laughs> in the actual guns that people were allowed <gasps> to brandish while eating dishes like chicken dunkers and dinner salad. <laughs> dinner, <laughs> dinner salad. <laughs> dinner salad is a great name for a salad. We were like a family, Bobert said. I would say shooters for any employee was their life. We lived and breathed it every day. They were a part of this culture and brand that we created in Rifle, and there was a lot of pride with that. So this is a a segment where I would like us all to create our and build our perfect order from Shooter's Grill in Rifle, Colorado. I'd like to sprinkle in. Yep. Happy Mother's Day to the best, most beautiful mom a guy could ever ask for. Thanks for putting up with me for 18 years, mama. So, May 2016. I was obviously a problem slash gifted child. 
I'm seeing shareable desserts. Does anyone want to go in on something together? Oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Allie, Allie with a that. fucking gat. <laughs> Bavarian cream churros, anybody? Ooh, this menu is so scant. It has There's sides. Go to the sides. Hard shell taco salad. Click on sides, Amir. Okay. Check out the fucking because I feel like the is st- terrible. Yeah. Sides like, is empty. <laughs> really? Yeah. So they maybe you don't have sides. I maybe jump the carp on that one. Pork green chili sounds good. So okay, list out a dish and then also what kind of gun you would have with that. I'm gonna have the pork green chili with an Uzi. Yeah, that's really good. <laughs> <laughs> Served with a corn or flour tortilla. Can I have an AK-47 and a chili cheese fries and add grilled chicken? The little shooter's meal? Yeah, that's what I was just looking at. I'm I, I think I'm going to go little shooter's burger. Which is a three-ounce patty. Yeah. And With a sawed-off shotgun. And it's a, the little shooter burger is a little Maverick smash burger. So that's a little really sho- good. A, a little Maverick for a little shooter. Oh, I like that. <laughs> How about I go in on a grenade <laughs> and a Bavarian cream filled churro? That's pretty I'm good. I'm gonna get the Ron's heart attack stack with a gat. <laughs> Cheesecake wontons feels like cultural appropriation. Corn yeah. beef hash. <laughs> and a hat. And a hat <laughs> with a side of a fucking gun. <laughs> <laughs> so you ran out of gun. Yeah. 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 Interesting. Um, all right, we do have to move on. Full steam ahead. Okay. Wonderful. <laughs> Who's sorry? Who is that? That's Pile. That's into That's Pile. Pile. I don't know if you met Pile. I don't think so. Oh, to be you again. To be you again. To be you again, pre Pile. <laughs> oh God. Also then, Pile. What so. is he? What, what, what was, was he doing? Was he? Ch- He's like having trouble breathing. I think ever since he had a kid, he has like a clogged or- aorta. <laughs> oh hard. my god! How serious? Yeah. This has to be part back. Yeah, I will. Over here. Okay. <laughs> What's the update? How much did we lose and why? We still uh, we're just pushing on through. Um, are we still rolling? Yeah, we're ju- we'll just use the boom audio for that four minutes. Anya just said that we're good to go. That's boom awesome. audio from what? You mean from, from the? the ki- sorry, it's that he's it getting, picked it up. You see that he's getting? Hey Jeff, how's your blood pressure? It's hypertense. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be right back. <laughs> it's hypertense. The heck? <laughs> and we're back. Uh, does anybody have any druthers that they'd like to get out of their system? You have your segment that's just going to keep sprinkling through, but... I don't have much left, though. Yeah, all um, right. I've sort of, uh, you know, I've combed the internet. I feel like I could read a little bit more from that interview you did about how music is the comedy <laughs> to your life. But no, my druthers recently... Ah, is that something I hate or something I love? I think it's like something you have We're to out of time. With. We have to start the next segment. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to... <laughs> HeadGum Podcast Debates. There's a big election on Tuesday in California. What is it? It's the Democratic primary with an incumbent president. Got it. So not that big, I guess. But um, I thought that there is a subject matter that I think is worth debating. I wanted Anya on this episode. She's not available, but it needs to happen. And that's why we will be debating the question... What, and what's the question? Are we still rolling? <laughs> Sorry, this theme song's a lot. There we go. Longer than you thought. Uh, the question is: Is Studio G truly better than Studio H? Is it goaded? Yes. Studio goaded. Goaty. Uh, we are going to be doing a Lincoln Douglas debate. Meaning? With randomly assigned positions. Uh, it will be structured like a Lincoln Douglas debate. It will be an affirmative construction. Did you do debate in high school? How do you know all these words? I swam. Okay. And I swam. <laughs> I swam. Yeah. So far away. So you're learning these words with us. The Lincoln Douglas thing, you knew that? It's not that hard. It's just a structure of debate. That seems like you then you took a debate class or something. I learned about it in preparation for the episode. People are shocked when I put effort into this shit. 
there's an affirmative construction, meaning the person arguing that Studio G is better will have three minutes because we're doing it. We're doing it half time. There's it's supposed to be 40 minutes. We're doing it for 20. Yeah. You have three minutes to set up your argument. Why Studio G is better than Studio H. And I think we should randomly assign now, and then I'll explain the structure so that people can be thinking about it. Ready? How does it work with three people? I, it's going to be teams of two, so I'm going to participate. Okay. How much does Sydney Sweeney pay you to be in that commercial? I, I don't want to brag. What? It was scale. <laughs> <laughs> I want to brag, but it was minimum wage. <laughs> okay, ready? Yeah. I have put a wheel of names together. So this is to prove that this is randomly assigned. And I'm only saying this because if I get assigned Studio G, I don't want people to be like, Jeff prepared his arguments ahead of time because mine are going to be pretty strong. I also want people to know that if I'm assigned that I'm supposed to be saying that Studio H is better than Studio G, it's going to be tough for me. Um, so here we go. Spinning so it seems the like wheel. you have a lot of caveats about the segment that you started. Who will be arguing for Studio G is going to be Miles. So I have to say that this studio is better than the other one. Exactly right. Okay. Absolutely. Happy and to. Happy to. Thank you. Quiet sound. Effect. Quiet. Very quiet. And then... <laughs> <laughs> And it, are you and assigning, the, the, and are everybody, you assigning else everybody else? The <laughs> no, I'm gonna spin it again because who's gonna be Miles' teammate rooting for Studio G? Here we go, spinning the wheel. Quiet, yeah, pretty quiet sound effect. I hope it's not Jeff. Yes, <laughs> Studio G. What? That is the happiest I've ever seen Jeff. <laughs> he All just right. screamed. He just with <laughs> glee. Look at that. What is that? Uh, this just, is. Uh, <laughs> This he was so pissed when the thing Jeff. stopped recording. It's hard to believe that none of his arguments are going to be pre-planned. I <laughs> know, because he clearly did a lot of work on this. We also didn't see his the thing spinning. No. It will didn't. be. It'll be on the episode. I just can't screen share as well as in Studio H. So in that way, I guess Studio G is not as good. Uh, oh, that's a good oh. one for me and Amir. Ali and Amir will be arguing <laughs> for Studio H. Miles and I will be holding it down with Studio Jeff. Absolutely. All right, here we go. Um, affirmative construction. Miles and I have three minutes on the board to argue for Studio G. Well, first and foremost, I got to say the high ceilings for a guy like me that struggled with being tall my entire fucking life. Really nice to have. I think when you walk into Studio G, you get that podcast feeling of quiet. <laughs> you get that nice, nice. <laughs> shelves litter the walls with nothing but sound panels on them. As <laughs> <is> a poem. <laughs> <laughs> Tables as far as the eye I can't can see. Be. Yeah. Curtains hongst <laughs> among <laughs> the walls. Purple they may be. <laughs> oh, oh, I, oh, I shed a tear upon mine eye <laughs> for a loft that they may never be seen. <laughs> what is in the loft? That I don't know. Jeff, take it. <laughs> to have walls of charcoal is something that has always brought me a smile to see. Not really. You hated charcoal. I think the lighting is there there. <laughs> Compared to Studio H, I don't have to color correct as much. Casey Donahue texted me. He said... <laughs> <laughs> and I quote. He said, the lighting in Studio H is also good. He was lying to not only me, but also himself, because I think <laughs> that the viewers at home would agree and have uh. thus on last week's episode of this show, mm -hmm. Dregmans, that people pop off of the charcoal. People's skin tones are truer to their real nature. The studio setup is spacious. <laughs> that is I don't mind that there's posters that could be anything, but we chose to advertise a podcast network that people are already watching. People are already watching HeadGum, yet we still advertise. That's free ad space. When Jake Johnson is sitting right where Miles' ass is, he's adorning the studio with energy that we get to pick up on. He puts down the racket, we pick it up, and we're playing. Okay. We're just dancing. And I gotta tell you guys, Jake Johnson being able to sit where my ass must be, <laughs> Has it been three minutes? It's been two and 15 seconds. Unbelievably slow. And if yeah. I may go on a diatribe. Of course. Somebody called into my advice podcast. And said. And asked for advice about a problem. 
Then they called into Jake Johnson of Ice Podcast. Wow. This is actually, sorry, it's as the affirmative for, construction of Studio G, not so much. for advice from him. Yeah. And I must say that my advice was better, but I thought it was funny that two headgum shows, same guy calling both shows. <laughs> wow. Got who is this both guy? Shows. And that's why shows. you think Studio G is better than Studio H? And thusly, I must <laughs> conclude, the walls behind thine eyes are beauty. They are great. <laughs> The, the G stands for grace. Cream. The G stands for, for grace. grace. The, the G, G stands for grace. The, the G, G stands for grace. grace. What's that? Okay, that's the end of um <laughs> that's the end of our time. I will say that the next part is a cross examination from y'all. Okay. 90 <laughs> seconds you have to ask us questions about what we have just set up. So I hope you were listening. I hope you were taking notes. You also get to set up your Negative construction. Why is Studio H better than Studio G? 90 seconds on the board. Uh, have at it. <laughs> what was the problem? Oh. <laughs> what this was isn't kind of Lincoln Douglas. Well, you know what I'll say? <laughs> sort of this side You said quest. these these walls are charcoal, which you like. Aren't I said the, the walls are aren't hallowed. Aren't I think I had bad Studio memories of the other studio. Bad like, memories. Jeff okay. would panic, run in, no, sweaty. No, no, no. With You're not brew. supposed to say it. They're supposed to argue for Studio H. <laughs> she asked me a question. Well, you said the light, the color of the walls, which is similar in Studio H, are Fine. better here, but they're both charcoal, right? I thought you said you liked a cola or a I salmon. thought you, yeah, your whole thing is you love cola. I'm debating, yeah. yeah. I feel like it really should be As Studio C. Cross. Nice. Studio J. Johnson. I was thinking C, cross, whatever you want to call that one. G, Jeff. <laughs> you also said forty you, seconds left for a cross examination. You guys yeah. are already losing the debate. Aren't the lights the lights the same too? A lot of the things you like in that room, <laughs> it's or pretty this identical. Room are identical. Well, but yeah. these are the circular aperture slash amaran panels. We are not allowed to respond. Softbox. Oh, Douglas yeah. was was <laughs> being tall really hard for you? Yeah. Ever this since is I was, sorry. I ever since this I was is a just kid. a conversation. That's a, no, that's a part of my cross examination. Put in violins here. Height like, privilege. Fit. Yeah, you can yeah. fit in either studio. If anything, the other one's a little bit more cozy. I was going to say cozy. I can hardly see you. Snug as a you bug. Over there. Yeah. yeah, you're too. Because you had a bad day. See, didn't you get scolded? Didn't you get What's scolded that? for I'm, playing copyright music you know, on the podcast? I'm not a lawyer. I don't know how to cross examine. All right, uh, that was pretty weak. I'm glad I wasn't paired with a mirror. What? All right, here we go. Um, Half your time was spent on a poem. I couldn't be that critical. It's hard to cross-examine a, yeah, a, a Perfect. extemporaneous poem. Well, yeah. now you get to set up your <laughs> argument. You have three and a half minutes to set up your oh argument my for God. Studio H. Okay. Um, here's what I will say. This has to be done. Okay. This is the segment. Tw we're already in the debate. It has it's to be 20 fine. minutes. So it, no okay, here we go. Yeah. Here we go. Three minute. Fucker. Uh, three this minutes. has to be done, he said threateningly. <laughs> uh, it has to be done. Three and a half minutes on the board. Set up your argument of why Studio H is better. Okay. Okay. What, what sparks the most joy to you? I would feel, have you ever heard of the first waffle theory? No. So this, I'm a first waffle. If you're an oldest kid, you're a first waffle. Mm -hmm. And it's that when you're, when you're making waffles, the first one's kind of a tester. Yeah. And then as you make more waffles, they get better. Yeah. But you have to love Every you have to love the first one the most, yeah, mm. because they showed you the way. And it also and it told you to how go hot from zero to waffle is a is a great moment. Yeah, once you start having second, third, fourth waffle, you it's start getting special. sick. Yeah, you get full. Yeah, you get it's full. too much. The studio as we experienced it was the platonic ideal of a studio. This studio H perfect bite. This one too big. Yeah, it's a little bit too big, and Jeff is a little too far away. I can't quite see him. Everything I can't is, see him at all. The thing is that. Room was built as a studio. It oh, is yeah. glass enclosed. It is soundproofed. It was created to be a studio. This was a converted green room. It was a conference room. Mm -hmm. It was a mm -hmm. loft. I mean, there's things are strewn about kind of haphazardly. We did the best with what we could, but this was improvised. This wasn't and this wasn't ever meant to be a studio. So the and fact that it looks pretty good is a testament to the people that built it, but it wasn't designed to be this. Mm -hmm. And you want to talk about butts in the seats. That one's been having famous butts in those seats for years. What More. Kind of, what kind of famouses are in there? You have a minute and 50 seconds left. I mean, we know Cross has been there. Yeah. We know Bateman. Yeah. 
Bateman was here. Yeah, so yeah Bateman was mm-hmm. definitely there. Mm-hmm. Bateman didn't even come in this room. He didn't. He didn't even have to. He, he didn't, didn't even, want to. He or? didn't even see it. Because mm. this is a secondary space. Did you it's got, an overflow. Do you give snacks to Bateman, Lee? Lee offered, but he didn't need slash want. He wouldn't. He wouldn't need a thing. He didn't have to have it. He said on Ozark, I didn't have anything. I just can't imagine him chowing down a granola bar. A mozzarella Sorry. stick? Yeah. Miles Lincoln can... Douglas. We will have time for a process. <laughs> <laughs> and it will be about the snacks. And it will be about the snacks. Uh, that other studio is also closer to the um, entrance, so it's like easy access mm-hmm. in, easy access also, out. Also, the other studio has a window, which is kind of fun. You can see in. Mm-hmm. This this is sort of a dark corner Can't see lit anything. up. The sound paneling, though it, it completely encloses us, is also there's like you know like white spaces. It seems like kind of like we put up as much as we could as quickly as possible, but it's not like professionally done. In the other studio. Everything is flush. 40 seconds. Yeah. <laughs> Down to a T. <laughs> it's cozy. Mm. Who wants a podcast with more than three people on it? Yeah. It's overkill. And only that studio has money hidden in it. Oh, yeah. Mm. Does Jeff know about the cash? <laughs> what? Mm. Stapled behind the uh, drywall. Yeah. There's treasure. Yeah. <laughs> you never looked behind the painting? Buried treasure. Oh. I never thought to. I mean, open this, this uh, sheet. It just looks out into the backyard. It's just, there is no that in Studio H. You know what I mean? There's just, everything around you is designed with... Because you had a bad... What's that? (laughs) That really sounds like the camera has stopped rolling, the sound. End of negative construction in first rebuttal. Beginning, cross-examination. Miles, we have 90 seconds. Make them count. When a famous arrives at the (laughs) Edgum studio... What? Studio, do you want them to sit? G. <laughs> it's gotta be G. It's G. gotta be G. <laughs> because you don't want the famous. It's gotta be D-G. G. <laughs> you don't want the famous to be sitting there and then what? Peeping toms with their penises out, <laughs> looking through the window at them at Jason, Vivian Bateman. You don't want that. You want them in the back. With the weird, what's up up there, by the way? The loft. It looks like it was uh, ceilinged off, and now you can sort of see through it. There's a fiberglass that lets you see through it. And what's up there, though? You can't access it. You can't. It's unaccessible. It's a. It's a. It's an artificial ceiling for the. Bateman didn't want snacks. No, he wasn't hungry. He wasn't comfortable enough to eat in Studio H. In here, he would have chowed (laughs) down. It would have been bacchanalian. (laughs) Granola bites with a yogurt. Raisin. Can prebiotic I soda after prebiotic soda until he stayed for an hour. Until he shit himself raw. <laughs> Can I tell you what I saw? What? That's not this. Uh, when ch- I not open- exactly Lincoln Douglas, but I'll let it slide. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Stevo ate a gogurt. No, out of his ass <laughs> in Studio H. Everybody. <laughs> Well, End of see? cross-examination. Here we go. First affirmative <laughs> rebuttal. What, what did you see? We are not adhering to the Lincoln Douglas style. <laughs> okay. I well, now you can say it because it's our turn, right? <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. N- it is not, and I wish it was. Um, you, were al- you were supposed to be asking us questions just then, and then we were supposed to rebut the questions. And now what are we doing? Now the f- whole Lincoln Douglas, I think, has fallen to pieces. Yeah. Yeah. Did so Ali I- tell me your story? Let's do the cross-examination <laughs> now, and we'll hear Ali's story. This is so... Not how I wanted this to go. Okay. Uh, it never is, man. It is sometimes. Dregman's was fine. I object. <laughs> so which part? What are we doing oh, now? now Allie's you story, hear my story? Allie's big cross-examination. Yeah. Okay. So I opened the door for Bateman yeah. when he came in. And it, uh, <laughs> Anya and Casey were already in the studio. David was in the studio. So it was just me and him. And then uh, David walks out of the studio into the hallway. So now it's three of us there. And uh, David goes, Jason Bateman. Jason Bateman. (laughs) And then Jason Bateman, in response, lifts up his sweater, beautiful blue sweater, nips out and goes, and then there, and then I was there too. <laughs> and Ali was in there going, "Oh my!" Was that improvised or was that a thing they do? I One minute I left. Seemed in improvised. Cross examination. Isn't that wow. cute? <laughs> They're that close. This I just is a, that's fun. You know what this is? This yeah. is a Lincoln dumbass debate. 
Maybe. Fine. Not you guys. <laughs> yeah, clearly not. <laughs> clearly I, not. What's the question? We're supposed to ask you guys ask questions. Ask us questions about Studio H. Yeah. Basically try to poke holes in our theories. Well, here's... It's all better. right. It's I mean, this isn't mm. good for me. The space? <laughs> No, I just I worked on I worked hard on on both of them, and it looks great. Let Thank me you. Just tell you, it looks great. It's However, really, it's really bright in here. There does yeah. need to be a clear choice, which is the flagship studio. All of Polo Ralph Lauren's stores are amazing, but the flagship one on Fifty Seventh and Park is gonna be the one they are most excited about. God. Oh, what a bummer that you know that. <laughs> yeah. I don't think anything I just said was correct. Fifty <laughs> seventh and park. They don't even intersect. <gasps> I don't the sound makes me think the GoPro is turning off. <laughs> it's like really disorienting me. What's that? <sighs> Moving on to the fucking second negative rebuttal. Okay, what are these rules? Yeah, I'm what is so Lincoln confused. Douglas? Yeah, you yeah, say Lincoln, Lincoln Douglas. Bio. It's not going to be perfect. <laughs> Lincoln bio debate. I did swimming. Yeah. I did theater. I didn't do debate. So the Lincoln Douglas we're doing today is my first. It's not going to be perfect. I'm not getting any help from you guys either, by the way. It seems like you don't even want to do it. I was sort of in debate, <laughs> but it wasn't called debate. What was it called? Something else. Math. No, what's the word? There's a word for it. It's like that nah, rhetoric, talk. something like that. Like I was on something where we went. We had junior to argue. trial or something. Yeah, yeah, something like that. Yeah, Lincoln Council, Lincoln Lawyer. It was Lincoln, Lincoln Logs. Logs. We were in Lincoln Logs. Yeah, I lived in a house. I did swimming. I, I did, did theater. theater. I did debate. Who can ask for anything more? more. Who can ask for anything, anything more? more. Uh, Studio G wins. <laughs> what? I think the so. The entire thing fell. I know you think so because you're on <laughs> yeah, one fucking you're on side. Our team. I'm not even saying that's the end of the bait. I'm just saying Studio G wins. That's my opinion. Yeah, it obviously is your opinion. Why don't we let the people decide? Okay. Well, I mean, the question. Vote. Yep. The question I have is right. when when a famous comes mm-hmm. and they say, "I want to podcast a headgum, Mister Emil Blumenfeld." What studio do you put them in? Sorry, David why did Cross the famous person to- that you just Imitated have like a yeah. lisp. Or like he said, couldn't say there are R's or something. No. Like a question. five-year-old. Okay. Next question. Yeah. There are no questions. It was a. It was supposed to be a Lincoln Douglas debate. It's done. Let it, the people weigh in. We'll decide. Lincoln the Douglas. Commenters. Lincoln Douglas. Let's do JFK Nixon. Like, yeah. Turn let's off fucking, the GoPro. And you guys. <laughs> October and 9, 2010. <laughs> photo of a mellow yellow. And I said nothing. <laughs> <laughs> no contact. He was thirteen at the time. That's right. <laughs> uh, and then, if you're listening to this, uh, vote in the comments. Yeah. Type Studio G or Studio H, and we'll tally the votes. And on next week's episode, we will know um, who won. <laughs> 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 what? These really either that is go well crazy. or they go bad. So we'll wait a week. When they go low, we, we go, go bad. fine. <laughs> okay. I have to pick up my son soon. <laughs> Where is he? At uh, I have to, I don't know. Jesus. <laughs> I knew this might happen. I knew the debate might not have been there there. <laughs> Yeah. But yeah. they're there. Of course. Uh-huh. I came up with a backup plan. Uh oh. We Uh-oh. I don't think we laughed enough in this episode. Laughed a lot. Oh. Can really? Yeah, okay. Okay, well, the comments are gonna disagree because even when an episode is perfect in my eyes, people hate it. What's one perfect episode <laughs> for you? Uh the post nuptial episode's my favorite episode we've done in a while. Nice. That was a while ago though. Dragments was good. Dragments was fine. All right. Stressconsolesystem.co.uk. By the way, this is a terrible function for the studio that we're looking behind. Of here. Yeah, I have to go like this, and it's upside down, and I can't yeah. see it. Yeah. We didn't laugh a lot during this episode. We did, but I guess you pre wrote that, so we'll go along. Did you pre write it? Or did you this is it? my backup plan if the Lincoln Douglas debate wasn't Miles participated in well. Well, yeah. I'll participate for about tw- seven more minutes. This is. Who is this? So why don't you guys follow his instructions? Interesting, isn't it? No, seriously, put your hands like that in front follow of your thighs. Follow his instructions. Uh, you might need to push your chairs back a little bit, guys, for this. 
and just go like that uh, all together. Good, that's easy, isn't it? It doesn't have to be too hard, just once more. Okay. Just lift your feet up and put your feet down like that. Again. What is this boring okay. Simon song? Yo, what the fuck is this? Just laugh. And again. What? Just laugh? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> what I want you to do is push your stomach out. Right? What is this video called? It's called How to Laugh. <laughs> no, so he's teaching people how to, how to laugh? appear as though they're laughing? How to make yourself <laughs> laugh. Instantly. Instantly. Relieve stress and worry. Okay, wait, sorry, you're missing the instructions. Out the mouth. <laughs> See, you're not blowing it out. Your stomach. <gasps> I feel like I'm gonna give myself a hernia. Is forcing the air out. <gasps> again. Learn how to laugh. <laughs> is this what Good. Pyle was doing okay. when you got that? <laughs> 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 if you guys happy. aren't gonna take this seriously, then maybe you don't deserve to laugh. <laughs> we were laughing. Oh my god, we Just were laughing. Just follow his instruction. Ready? ready? Check it out. This is bizarre. <laughs> this really makes me upset. <laughs> this is the happiest I've seen you this whole time. <laughs> Jeff is lo Jeff is loving. It. I don't know if Jeff I've is ever laughing seen like you this. Happy. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like this guy. What? <laughs> this fucking weirdo. He's teaching aliens how to laugh. Jeff is like having breathing problems over there. He's having an aneurysm. <laughs> what the fuck is that? Try it. Can we all give it to the college? Try it. I just want all four of us to be doing that. <laughs> that was the worst. <laughs> Saying that we weren't laughing enough this whole episode was just building up to that. <laughs>